Hey guys, Woo! this is your girl Latrice and yes, I am here for another amazing video guys. Yes guys, this is Motivational Mondays. So get ready, get your coffee, your tea and sit down and relax and get ready for our motivation for today guys. All right. God, I need you. Keep going in the same circle again, but then my soul will oh. Would you count me? Talk about today our unachievable dreams, guys. What? Are dreams unachievable? You know, there's times that we always think about, oh my God, this dream is so big and it just, it's just not possible. It's unachievable. What? And how in the world is God going to get this done? How in the world? I can't see it being possible. Those are the dreams that I have sometimes. And I know you have and those. Those dreams are going on in our head. It's like, it seems impossible. It seems like I can't reach them. But I know that God has something more for my life. I know that there is something more that I'm supposed to be doing than what I'm doing right now. I know it is. I know hey it guys, is. Guys, we're talking about what God expects for us to do in order to resurrect. What? In order to resurrect these, those old, dried up, dead dreams. Hey guys, we're bringing those dreams back to life. We are bringing those dreams back to life. You know what? Because it is possible, guys. It is I possible. Gave the soul action. To the dreams that seem so impossible, unachievable, unreachable. He told us exactly what he In did. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37 talks about a man was facing a dead situation. He could not make any changes on his own, guys. All right? We're talking about Ezekiel 37. That's how all right? I feel sometimes, guys. I feel like, you know, I just can't make these changes. I can't make this happen. It's a dead situation. I just cannot make it happen. And I'm sure you have felt that way as well. I'm sure you have. You may not have spoken about it or anything, but I know that you have had a situation that you felt like was, it was just dead. It was that over. The situation, guys, was literally a valley of dried, dead bones. What? You say what, Trees? Yes. I know this okay. sounds like something from a Stephen King movie, right? I know it does. God set Ezekiel down in the middle of those dry, dead bones, guys. He set him down in the middle of that dead, dry situation and had a talk and with he him. he said, can these bones live? What? Can these bones live? Can that dead dream live? Can that situation that you're in, that you think is over, can it live? I think you saw the proof. Everything was dead. Everything was dry bones. Everything that he looked at, all his dreams, all his goals. This is what we're going to refer this to. Our dreams and our goals, all right? He looked at it. He looked around and everything was dead. Was dead, guys. So like I say, in reference to our dreams, our goals, our marriages, our school, our weight loss, whatever dreams that we've had that we felt like it was no hope, guys, that they are dead. God is saying, can these bones live? God is asking, can those dead dreams be resurrected? Those hopes and dreams that you had, can they come back to life? Can we spark something in you to bring them back to God life? God is never going to ask you a question or put you in a situation and not have the answer for it. All right? So while he was talking to Ezekiel and he was asking him about the dry bones, the dead dry bones, can they live again? He also gave him the secret. How to resurrect those bones. You ask, 
What is the secret, Therese? Come on, come on. What is the secret? The secret is to speak life into the dead situation. To speak life into your dreams. To speak life into the dead bone that is representing our dreams, our marriages, our weight loss, our schooling. Whatever dream, whatever situation that you have, God is saying, speak life into the dead bones. To give life to dead bones is to speak life. The words that are coming out of your mouth. All right, the words that are coming out of your mouth is the secret. So Ezekiel did just that. He spoke life. He spoke life. And all of a sudden, he heard shaking and rumbling. And the bones was coming together. Life came back. What? Amazing. What? Things in your heart, they come back to life, guys. The dreams in your heart comes back when you speak life into them. All right? Remember this, guys. We're going to speak life into those old dreams that we had. We're going to speak life into the failed marriage that we think is over. We're going to speak life into the weight loss that we're trying to get, that we continually say, I'm never going to lose weight. Words that are coming out of your mouth can change the whole direction of your life. I'm going to say it again. The words that come out of your mouth can change your whole direction of your life. In fact, the two words, I am, are so powerful. So powerful. I am. What? I am have a significance that you can't even imagine that's baffling. Whatever you put after those two words becomes your reality. Whatever you put after I am becomes your reality, guys. What you believe about yourself on the inside is going to show up on the outside, guys. Okay. Whether you can or whether you can't, it's the truth. Whether you say I can or whether you say I can't, that's your truth. Because those words are coming out of your mouth. So the words that come out of your mouth becomes your reality. So we're not going to say we can't. We're not going to say that. I need you to understand, guys, that we have to closely monitor the things that are coming out of our mouth. Closely monitor. So we're going to be slow to speak because we got to think about what we're saying. Okay? Think about the things that you're saying about yourself because it changes. It changes everything. Guys, when you fill your mind with positive things, then your life will line up to be positive as well. I All right, you guys, to remember that your words create your reality. All right, guys, I love, love, love you guys. You guys are so amazing, guys. Yes, you are. And I am so excited to be here with you guys and talking to you guys. All right. So all I want you guys to do is share the video out. I know there's someone out there that you know that need to hear this. Okay. Share the video out. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And you know what? Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video, guys. I love, love, love you guys. And join. What? Join the community of love, guys. Yes, we have a join button. Hit that join button, okay, guys? And become a member of Team Pink. I love you guys, and I cannot wait to talk to you guys again next time.